In this video, I want to give you an update on my robots and how much do you need to actually physically have in your exchange to set up your robots. So let's first off go over to my Binance account and uh, I'm going to refresh the screen just to show you that it's live. I started my bots on the 1st of September, which is uh, 11 days ago. We're on the 12th now in the UK, but it's 12 it's on the 12th day in the morning, so tomorrow will be 12 days. So let's take my balance here of 1,836. So now I'm going to pop that into my calculator. And then what I want to do is to remove minus from there what I've actually deposited in here so I can get an idea of profit that I've made in the last 11 days. So I'm going to go to my spreadsheet. And uh, I'll just before we go and show you, I'm going to start here. Started with $600. Then I deposited uh, 256, then I put another just over 300, then uh, on the 7th of September I put 148, then a 47 on the 7th, and then I put a 64 and a 216. As you can see, they were both yesterday on the 11th of September. So in total, I've deposited this amount over here. So let's get my calculator and minus the 1663.8. Eight three, so that's a profit of one hundred and seventy-two dollars and fifty-seven cents in that eleven days. So let's just take that, and we'll divide that by eleven. So that's fifteen dollars a day, okay? And uh, we'll times that by thirty. So I should be looking to make around about the I don't know four fifty to five fifty uh, at the end of the thirty days. And uh, if you look here, I'm getting on average uh, about 0.72% a day, which is brilliant, you know. Um, now, so let's go back over to EasyBot. And so these are my robots. I started these two robots here, uh, was the very first two robots. And as you can see, in order, I've gone down and I've started to set up. And now you will notice that I've got more than one robot for the same asset. And the reason is, is I look at the charts and if I think it's a good time to start a robot, obviously if there's a dip in the market, I want to start a robot. And uh, I've got the VIP package. If you've got the free package, you can only have two robots. I think you're crazy to do that. You should really consider upgrading so you can have lots of robots so you can diversify and you can have, uh, you know, you can set up as many robots. I think it's 10 robots with the 250 package. That's 250 for a year. The VIP package, which is $995 for the year, you can have as many robots as you like. I've got the VIP package because I want to have as many robots as I like. Now, first off, how much funds do you need to have? Right, so let's have a look. Now, before we go through how many robots I've got and how much they're trading with, let's have a look at my balance. My balance in here is $1,836. Now, if we go through the robots and start to add them up, we'll see that I go well over the $1,800. So if you can see here, it says the exchange, and then it says the amount. So I don't need to read all these out, but you can just scan across the screen there, $1,000. There's a few there that are $600. Coming onto this road, $600, $600, $600. Coming on this row here, $2,000 there. 600, 1,000, 1,000, and 1,000. Well, I've made a note of all of those, and I've got them in here. So my robot thinks I'm trading with a fund of $14,050, where in fact, I've only got $1,836. So how can I set my robots up and tell the robots I've got $14,050 when I've only got you know, just over $1,800. To understand that, we need to go and have a look at the robots and how you set them up. So here's a robot, and I'm just going to choose the exchange. It doesn't matter what coin I choose. It's irrelevant. And so when I when I set my robot up, so let's say that I've got $1,000 in there, okay? You can see that the robot is going to make the first trade at $34, $33.90, roughly thereabouts. So it's not using the full thousand dollars. What it needs is it needs that thousand dollars just in case the market keeps dropping and dropping and dropping and dropping and dropping up to around about 50 to even 70 percent. It needs that full thousand. Now, of course, the market can drop and the robot will run into trouble. And I'll show you that in a moment. But if I take the tick out of this box here 
just to show you this. Here's the trade. Now, they call them covers. Now, basically, what happens when you start the robot, it makes its first trade. So in if we was to look at this one, it's going to do $33. Well, let's just assume, to make things easy, it was $20. So it made the first trade at $20. It put a buy order in. Then the market dropped another 2%. So now it's going to do a second buy order of another $20. So that's now $40. So let's just track this in the calculator. So you'd have your first order would go in, would be $20. And then if the market dropped by 2%, it would place another order of $20. If the market dropped again by another 5%, it's going to place two orders. So that would be $40. And if the market dropped again by 8%, it's going to place another order of four trades, which would be $80. So, so far, at this point, out of my $1,000 that I've told the bot that I've got to trade with, it's still only used $160. So, there's still lots of room for the market to drop again. And this is how this robot does, is it buys. If we look at the chart of a robot, here it is. You can see it's done a buy down here. It's done some more buys here. It's got a couple of sales. As they're all red. The red... Uh, arrows pointing down to sell and the greens is buy so it's buy it's selling it's buying it's selling and if you could see it's buying up when it goes down it's selling now of course what can happen is the market can keep dropping and dropping and dropping and the robots making buys as it goes down and it's uh, i'm not going to go into the full strategy there's a video a great video that i've done on that already and i shall make some more videos on that but what i'm trying to get across to you is that even though I've told the robot I've got $1,000, it's not using the $1,000. So in this particular uh, coin here, you can see that the movements between here and here, it's not going to use my $1,000. It's going to probably use maybe $60 or $80 at tops to do these trades. It might make, you know, as you can see, it might make a place an order at the top, which is right at the top. You know, there's an order just being filled. Uh, so the robot's made a, 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 another buy there. And so basically it's going to use around 20 or 40 dollars somewhere because it's going to do selling buying selling buying selling buying and then, then it's have a, a bit of a drop down and it might do two buys there so it'd use up uh, you know 40 dollars then it will do a sell up here then a buy then a sell then a buy then a buy then a sell so here, here's a perfect example it sold up here and it bought but the market kept going down so it bought again and then it started to go up. And then as you could see at the top there, it's got sell, sell, sell. It sold three orders in, in at the top there. So the robot's not using the full amount that you're saying that you've got to trade with. So I've found that by I've got two grand. So I don't know what you've got. If you've got $600, I would say you could set up a robot and say, well, I've got $600. I've set my first robot up. But if you don't have $600, it doesn't matter. You could put $200 in here and say to the robot, I've got $600. Because it's the first trade it's going to make. So if we come back to here and you're putting in here, you're telling the robot you've got $600. But in fact, in your Binance account, you've only got $200. The first trade it's going to do is it's going to make a trade of $20. Now, the market's got to keep dropping and dropping before the robot gets into trouble. So let me give you an example here. Here's a robot, okay? And so the robot did the initial buy here. The price, the you know, the market dropped. So it does what it's, they call it cover one, which it dropped out by that 2%. So it bought another $50 worth. You see, it's got $50 there. I bought another $50 worth. The market dropped again, another 5%. So it now doubled up and put in 100 So I've now got $200 that I put in because I told this robot I had, I think, was $1,000. And then the market dropped again. So now it's got to buy in four times. So it bought in four times. Then what you'll find is it, it dropped again. Now the market, it, now the robot want, wants to buy the fourth cover. You see, we're at the third, this is the first cover, the second cover, the third cover. Now it's on the fourth but at this point, it said the account has insufficient funds and, and the robot just stops. It doesn't, you know, the computer doesn't blow up. Uh, you don't lose your account. It just means it cannot make the trade. Now, you can either go in and add more funds 
Or you could say, well, I'll wait. I'll just sit and wait now. Let because there could be other robots running, you know, like in because this is only one robot. And if I go here, this is my these are my robots. So this robot ran into trouble, but these one was still trading because it was a lower amount, it's only 150. This one thinks it's got 1500. And um, you know, there was a couple of other robots that's still running. So you're making profits from the other robots, and as you start to build back up your USTT balance because you need to have a balance of uh, you you know this USTD. I've got a grand in there, okay. I've got a grand in there now. If the market plummeted down, some of my robots are going to get into trouble and they're not going to trade. But so what? Obviously, I don't. I want them to trade, but if they don't trade, it doesn't matter. I just keep an eye on what's going on, and I come and switch the robot on back at the right time. Either I've got more funds to it to trade with, or the market's gone up. And then if the market's gone up, I just switch it on because it's not going to need any funds to buy any more stuff. It's just going to sell and make me the profit. Now, I've only had the robots that I've got set up run into trouble one or two times, you know. And I tell the robots I'm trading with 14 grand. That's a little strategy that I use. Now, obviously, this is not financial advice and you should always do your own due diligence. And, uh, you know, but... I found that the more robots you can set up, the more chances you've got of earning a profit. Because if I look all through these robots, you know, just to scout through them quickly, the, the, this set up on the 1st of September, this one. Now, if you look at this one and this one on the 1st of September, it looks like this is the better robot. So you can see then I went and started another robot. But these two started to slow down. So I then looked at another robot. This one made me $14. Then I did this one. Then I did this one. The Dogecoin has not been that good. This one has not been that good. This one's not been that good. But you can't say, in hindsight, it's a wonderful thing. So it's better to set up as many robots as you can. Now, if you're on the free package, obviously you can only set up two robots. I think you're crazy if you've only got two robots set up. You really want to be on the you know the 250 package or above i'm on the vip which means i can have as many robots as i as i like so what i've been doing is i've been looking at what's been going on i've been keeping a spreadsheet going i'm starting to get color codes going so i can see for myself that this etc this is actually a good chart for the robot to trade on you know it's got the ups it's got the downs it's got the ups it's got the downs there's no real massive sharp movements to the downside and there's no real sharp movements to the upside because when you get like bitcoin it's gone up you see it's gone up if you get these sharp movements up you can the robot can run into trouble so you want to be trying to choose coins that have got a nice flowing chart you want to see this zigzag movement and this etc has been really good for me and you know i've started to color code them and i've set the robot so if you look at this one this one was started on the 1st of September and has made me $15. And this one was started on the 7th of September, so seven days later, uh, or six days later, that's made me $20. Now, why is it? It's the, same, it's the same trading pair, which is the ETC and USDT. Um, and the only reason why this one's making more money, because if you look there, I'm say, tell, I told the robot in the beginning, I want to trade with $150. This one, I've told the robot I've got $2,000. And then I've set another one up there to tell the robot that I've got $1,000. So even just in those three robots, I don't have enough funds inside my Binance account if the robot was to get into trouble and the market would keep dropping and dropping and dropping and dropping. So I take that risk. But the risk is, the upside of it is, is that I'm making profits and by starting the robots at different times and with different amounts and choosing different entry points into the market, because I, I like to look at the charts. And if I was to see this plummet right down, I'd start a new robot. Yes, the other three robots will probably freeze and say, well, you haven't got funds. But now I've started a robot down the bottom and it can start to earn money as it starts to crawl back up again. And that's what I've been doing. So when you go into creating a robot, you don't really have to worry i found about how much funds you've got in your Binance account. What you're really interested in is how much available you've got here. Have you got enough available here 
for the for the robot to do maybe the one or two trades and uh, you know you've got enough funds to doing that so setting your robot up if you've got two hundred dollars in here and you tell it you've got six hundred I believe you could still set up three robots with the six hundred with the two hundred dollars because you're saying hundred quid hundred quid you know um, because the robot each time it plays, makes a trade it's going to use 20 quid if you're setting it up with six hundred dollars so let's have a look at the so when you come into here doesn't matter the balance. Obviously, you don't want to put in here six grand if you've only got two hundred dollars. But if you've got two hundred dollars inside your Binance account, it doesn't matter. You say that you've got sixty because it's only going to use twenty dollars of the two hundred that you physically got inside your Binance account. Of course, the market can drop and the robot can stop, but it doesn't matter. I don't think if it stops because I believe that the market will go back up again. And you will get back into profit. You can go in, switch your robot on. It will sell, make its profit, and it will carry on as normal. So uh, hopefully that helps that uh, you understand that you can set up robots and you don't necessarily have to have the $600. And I, I do highly recommend that you, you get a package where you can set up as many robots as possible because I wouldn't know that this ETC is going to be good and it might be bad tomorrow. And, you know, and uh, the Ethereum might be good. Ethereum might start going up and up and up and, and, the, and you know, it, you could earn good money. Bitcoin could start to pump. So Bitcoin could end up taking over the uh, Ethereum classic. Filecoin, you would never know. And you wouldn't know by starting a trade right now. You know, if I go to the ECC, obviously I started, if I go back, I started, if you can see the arrows down here, you know, I started when the market was right down here and it's gone up. Look, look at that sharp movement, that massive drop. I told the robot I've got three grand and it never run into trouble. It still managed to trade. And as you can see now, if we open the chart up at the and a bit and come across, you know, maybe this time is not a great time to start a new robot in this ETC. So I will hang on until maybe the chart comes down. So just because uh, the Ethereum Classic is doing good today doesn't mean it's going to go. Uh, you know, it's going to be good tomorrow. As you can see, this is showing you how much the price has changed. Not my trade. How much the price has changed in the last 24 hours. So this coin's gone up by 0.44, where this one's gone up by you know one and a half percent, nearly 1.64 percent. This one's gone down by four and a half percent. Bitcoin's gone up by two percent. This um, Tron one I've got, I haven't made a penny out of it. So I've not used any of the funds out of the $20. You know, it, it's got a trade. It's opened a trade. And the market's pretty stagnant. It's just going so small sideways. It's not got enough room for it to, it's not triggering for it to buy another trade. And it's not making enough for it to, you know, it's not going up enough for it to sell. And it's not going down enough for it to buy. So this one's just sort of sitting stagnant. So I haven't locked up my $1,000, have I? I haven't locked up $1,000 because it's not even using it. You know, I started this robot, I think, was on the 11th of September, is it? Yeah, the, the 11th of September. So in 24 hours, it's done nothing. All it's done is done one trade. And then you've got this one here where I set it up the same. Look, look this one is 802 and this one is 803. So I set this one up here, and this is already made 289, and this is made nothing. So that robot thinks I'm trading with $1,000 here and $1,000 here. Well, I'm not trading with $2,000, because all my funds are taken up of all these other trades up the top here. So it makes sense to have as many robots as possible. Okay, and I'm going to go do another video if you want. Let me know in the comments. I'll do another video to show you in a bit more detail of how I choose a trading pair and how I start my robot. So as I say, I believe you should have as many robots running as possible so that when one doesn't do great, another one will. And that's why you should consider upgrading. So hopefully you found this video helpful. Let me know if there's any other videos that you'd like to make. Leave me a, a, you know, a comment below the video. And if you like this type of content, give me the thumbs up. Click on subscribe and click on the bell notification so you get notified when I upload a new video. You have a fantastic day and I'll speak to you soon in another video. Bye now.